Yusuke Urameshi is the greatest shonen protagonist. His growth as a character, specifically in the Dark Tournament arc, is one of the most well-written shonen character arcs I've ever seen. Just a short background of his character, he's a 14-year-old delinquent with no respect for authority or anyone for that matter. She's a fighter and she's trying to get in our way. I don't care if she's a girl or a baby or somebody's grandmother. I'll still knock her out. As you can imagine, his personality gets him in a lot of problems. Outside of the problems he brings upon himself, life seems to constantly bring problems outside of his control as well. In short, he's a fatherless teen with a mother who constantly drinks and teachers who are assholes. On top of that, he dies at the ripe age of 14 trying to save a kid, only to find out his death was pointless. Yeah, he has it pretty bad. And as Koema says, when Yusuke finishes his ordeal to come back to life, so far his journey has only been a walk in the park. This right here is the essence of what truly makes Yusuke such a great character. Character. His ability to go through hardship and come out on top no matter what. Suffering is necessary to grow and what better arc does Yusuke display this idea than in the Dark Tournament arc? Which is why in this video I want to go over exactly why the Dark Tournament arc is so impactful and a major turning point for Yusuke's character. The Dark Tournament arc starts with the reveal that Tsuguro, who Yusuke thought he previously defeated, actually threw the fight. Tsuguro pulls up on Yusuke and just his aura leaves Yusuke shaken. Tsuguro kidnaps Yusuke and shows him just 60% of his power saying that he knows Yusuke has the potential, he just needs motivation. Tsuguro's entire motivation is to bring Yusuke's full potential out by any means. Keep in mind Tsuguro is somebody who knows firsthand just how much suffering can force you into growing stronger. Tsuguro is somebody who's already felt the pain of losing everybody he cares about, but coming out stronger as a result. Tsuguro invites Yusuke to the dark tournament by telling him if he doesn't participate, everyone he loves will die. So of course Yusuke agrees to go. He decides to train with Genkai, whose entire MO is getting stronger through the most strenuous training possible. There's a certain ordeal she puts Yusuke through that I'll get to later. However, even before the tournament started, she pushed Yusuke to go past what he thought was his limit at the time. She straight up tells him, Approaching death is the key to your training. <laughs> Genkai is planting the seed in Yusuke that getting stronger isn't easy. It requires a lot of struggle and sacrifice. In order to grow, you have to be able to take the trials and tribulations you've gotten through and adapt and learn from them. Genkai stresses the importance of not giving up when something isn't easy because the power Yusuke is looking for must be earned. After Yusuke's training arc with Genkai, the big four arrive at the island the Dark Tournament is held at with the fifth, who's obviously not Genkai. With the team fully assembled, the first round starts. Yusuke, still sleep from his previous training with Genkai, misses most of the first round. Fuobara loses to a child, Kurama gets one of the most satisfying kills at a tournament, and Hiei invents Amaterasu. Now it's Yusuke's turn and he's up against the leader of Team Rakuya Kai, Chu. The fight is an even match at first, so they decide to have a knife edge death match. Basically, there's no moving. The two take turns swinging until one gives up. Going along with the theme for Yusuke this entire arc, essentially the person who can withstand the most suffering will come out on top. Yusuke ends up winning the match and overall the round for his team. As we get further into this arc, we realize this is only the beginning for Yusuke's struggles in this tournament. After Genkai is revealed to be the masked fighter, we realize she knows it's only a matter of time before Taguro confronts her. She leaves Yusuke with the final task, which is absorbing her spirit orb. Before beginning the task, she asks him one last time, Can you handle the hardship? Once again reiterating the importance of suffering and coming out of it stronger. Yusuke accepts this knowing he must either endure the pain or die. This is one of the best scenes in the entire anime and personally one of my favorite scenes of all time. If there's one thing every single one of us can agree on is that we've suffered and made it through something by sheer perseverance. Even if it's something we think is small like riding a bike and falling off until we learn how to ride, we've all been in a situation where we struggled and came out better. When I die in Elden Ring over and over and over and over and f***ing over again, I don't give up. And when I finally beat the boss, I feel like I can take on the entire world. We f dragons, uh, we f dragons. What are you talking about? You see me in prison, you dragon ass f You better run because I'm gonna get me some dragon ass. Oh, brother, oh, whoa, 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 now. You got too much dip on your chip. The key to getting through your struggle is like Genkai mentioned in Yusuke's earlier training, allowing yourself to care about something with all your heart and energy. You have to find a reason to keep pushing, otherwise you'll give up before you see any growth. Only you can decide what that thing is for yourself. In Yusuke's instance, when he was about to give up, he sees Pooh using his last bits of energy to try to carry him water. Seeing Pooh collapse on a rock about to crush him forces Yusuke to push past his limits and ignore the pain in order to save him. For Yusuke, his reason was to 
that others were dependent on him and that's why he couldn't just give up. Suguro realizes this in his final fight with Yusuke, however before we get there Yusuke has another significant event that adds to his suffering in his arc. After absorbing the spirit orb Yusuke is knocked out for some time and after waking up from this trainer session he realizes where Genkai went off to. He finds Genkai just as Suguro lands to finish and blow to kill her. Like I said this whole arc is just a world tour of pain for Yusuke. Nothing but tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. Of course this increases the tension between Yusuke and Suguro and when they fight in the next round this is all shown. Their fight starts and it's quickly apparent that Genkai's boost was not enough for Yusuke at all. It's also made apparent in this fight that Suguro is a kind of twisted mentor for Yusuke. He wants Yusuke to be stronger however he's not going about it by doing what's in Yusuke's best interest. I go deeper on this topic in my Suguro video but the gist is Suguro is willing to do whatever it takes to pull Yusuke's full potential out. Genkai whose spirit is in Pooh's body knows this and knows that it's the only way for Yusuke to beat Suguro. She tells Suguro the way to make Yusuke suffer is by taking away the people he cares about. Suguro then goes straight for Yusuke's friend group and kills Uwabara. This is enough to fully unlock Yusuke's potential because he feels like it's his responsibility to protect everyone around him. He blames himself for losing Genkai and now Kuwabara. His newfound power is born from that pain of loss which is why he says mid-fight that he'll never forgive Tsuguro and he'll never forgive himself for allowing it to happen. Tsuguro tries to get Yusuke to forget about everyone around him and focus only on his own strength but Yusuke tells him he only made it that far because whenever he struggled it was the people that he cared about around him that made him push forward. In the end this just goes to show that to suffer is to grow. In life there's a few things that's guaranteed death, taxes, and hearing a Taylor Swift song, in other words, suffering. Too many people think of suffering and only think about the pain that comes along with it. In life, there's always a good and bad side to everything, and if there's one thing that anime has taught me is that suffering and hardship make you better. Only through experience in life and everything that comes along with it, good and bad, you can grow. Yusuke Urameshi is a prime example of this and the reason I made this video. If you made it this far in the video, I love you and I'm out. Peace.